There was a full scouting report by Dr. Prof Donut on the Is internet. Is that what all this was about? All this buildup? Yes. So you could show this thing? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, still a top five pick in life. If you were to go through the A.J. Hawk scouting report that was put together by a third party. Mm -hmm. Right. An independent evaluator mm -hmm. that we did not hire or know nope. put together a full scouting report on the man that is Ohio, mm -hmm. the man that is A.J. Hawk. All this does is just encourage people to continue to do things like this. No. As a, as a what? What do you mean? I mean, people are very creative, though. So, hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate the passion, like I said, for you. Let's go through the strengths. That was <laughs> laid out by somebody, once again, we do not know. No Correct. idea. He is faster, ran a 4-4. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Stronger, tore his pack, still max bench than 400 some pounds. Yep. Mm -hmm. No. And tougher, <laughs> once again, zero concussions, had a tooth turn into vapor yeah. in the middle of the game. Brain didn't move. Nope. <laughs> than most human beings. I think that's an accurate scouting report Absolutely. there to begin, don't you? Yeah, I mean, no way to ever judge toughness, but fine, you can move on. Oh, there is! How many games did you miss? I mean, in the, yeah, in the league, I guess one, really. Can you hold up your hand real quick? Your fingers? No. Yeah. Exactly. Dude, let's see those fucking... Come on. Come on. Come on. No, let's I don't see those to. Why don't fingers. You keep, keep moving. I want to see what the next one is. Do it, Show us dude. the goods. Has money and connections <laughs> with people with even more money. Definitely a strong no, thousand so, percent true. Remember, you were one. down at the Masters. You're doing your thing. You were at that Emmy party. You were uh, high, high fluting, tooting around yep. with the, uh, the the shrimp cocktail. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, all that stuff. Rogers mm -hmm. is his best friend. He's going to be a billionaire yep. soon. At that party that Ace Ventura walked into, looking for fucking Snowflake. Yeah, yes. yes. Sam Ace. That he was at that. What's that? Sam Ace. That was his party. That was his name at the party. Yeah. Yes, Sam Ace. <laughs> yeah. That was at a party that AJ Hawk is usually at, attends, mm -hmm. and throws oh, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. Carnival in his backyard. Accurate still. I mean, sure. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Responsible adult. Okay. Mm. Sure. Now loses a little bit of legitimacy here, right? Yeah. <laughs> More than a little bit. A little bit. I mean, you gotta look past that though. Every evaluator is gonna have a flaw. This might have been the one that is yeah. on this entire sheet. Sure. Yeah, falling asleep while driving with your kids in the car. Wow. You just can't that does get addressed though. So you, yeah. you get a chance. They're not that. in the car. They are very active in the car, so you could not fall asleep with them <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you. But no, like him getting his kids, uh, you know, ready and stuff like that. Like, also, that's very responsible. Cheesecake Factory every single day, Super Bowl week, making sure we were all fed yeah. and ready to yeah. go. Yeah, you know? responsible. Yeah, true. A week worth of groceries too. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, it's always true. has water. Cannot be really swayed, stubborn as fuck. I do believe this is the only thing on this entire sheet here that also have, uh, he can't drive like a normal human being, mm -hmm. uh, sunsets really fuck him up, jumping I in I have one other issue with this that I'll, I'll explain later, but okay. only one other one. Yeah, you might have one, yeah. And uh, having breaking news he stinks at, obviously. Yeah. He does have breaking news, right. but actually Same. breaking, breaking news <laughs> is definitely a weakness. And there's other great things on there. This was the only thing that he commented on my post about. Mm -hmm. The only thing. None of these other things were a problem. Falling asleep while driving with it. Yeah, no <laughs> Sunsets doing this entire thing. Uh, you know, having news, not breaking it, being just not a champion of news on this show. Yeah, Everything on there. He was mad that people called him stubborn. That this independent part, that out of this whole thing, stubborn was the one that you were like, nope, not fucking having it. Why is that? You believe stubborn people are bad people? That was what crossed the line for you? No, I believe there's all different levels. Like, yes, it is good to be stubborn on things that you believe in and, and things that you think, so you know, you'll work your balls off for and you'll go try. But I am not stubborn on stupid things that don't matter. Like, I don't sit there and do that. I know people that are stubborn just to be stubborn because oh. they want to be right. I oh. try to stay away from being that person. Don't think you'll become um, that successful or grow if when you're wrong, you can't acknowledge it, forgive yourself and move on. Like that, yeah. I think you have to do that. Being able to do that is a weapon. I honestly believe that. Because think about the situations, and I used to not be able to do it, obviously. You could tell, um, like, when I was a teenager and shit, I was a fucking asshole of a kid, too. <laughs> My parents, I couldn't even imagine what it was like. But when you get humbled numerous times and, like, your flaws just get displayed, I think sports do this. I think sports cause you to almost... Like, when I got those death threats... Okay, and my life ended. And I let down my teammates and the entire city and everything. Boy, that's a new like, 
well, I was obviously wrong. The way I was going about things wasn't right because this is where I'm at. So you have to like open. Once you like realize that, what a game changer just for life. I don't want to get too serious into a conversation here. Alf, a very accurate scouting report. Yeah, even, yeah. even the stubborn one. I, I mean, yeah. even the stubborn one for sure. It refuses to fix the internet in Ohio right. ever. to ever do it. But I think that's a weapon of yours. And I think that's cool that we actually talk about it, AJ. It's real humanized of you. Well, it's funny that, uh, yes, this funny how this show can weave in between like things wow. like this and all of a sudden like real situations. So, yeah, it's, I guess I'm, I don't have as big an issue with being stubborn as I thought I did last night. Maybe. Well, it was the only thing that really caught your eye yeah. on this whole yeah. fucking thing. Hashtag. Yeah, there's one other thing I disagree with. What? So, yeah, we're not going through it. Good people. I got a few messages when I checked about this. People trying to claim I didn't beat my shellfish allergy. That's an absolute joke. It is gone. I can eat as much <laughs> as, much as I want. I absolutely beat it. I will prove it however you want me to do it, but I'm just telling you. I absolutely beat it. <laughs> That's a clip. I uh, love that. You're out there beating it off. The um, oh, shell, yeah, yeah, the shellfish. Set myself up. Yeah, you did. You did. The shellfish just thing. Just like you beat that guy's name all, all right off of him. And by the way, he did change it on social media. Yeah. We talked about That's that. Right. About how that's a smart decision to do yeah. that. Whoever, yeah, congrats. Congrats to him. Yeah. Congrats. On his arms, his new name. Yeah. yeah. All above. His, his new but title. His, your commitment to microdosing yourself so you can hobnob with the high society is something that was... That's not why I did it. How many yes, times I got to tell is. you? That's not why I did it, man. You did. You said mm -hmm. the shrimp cocktail at the Black Tie Fair where Sam Ace came in looking for a dolphin, yeah. found a shark... Mm -hmm. That is where you had a breakout, you had hives, you couldn't breathe, you looked like a fool in front of all of these super rich people. You said, this ain't going to happen ever again. The next black tie affair, honey, Laura, when's the next black tie affair? Six months. All, all right. right. Let me Google this thing. You go in there, you micro. -dose. I did not Google it. This was before microdosing was a thing. Whoa. Whoa. Did you create the father. microdosing? <laughs> not at all. I did not create the anything. founder. Like wow. Holy really shit. Put it in the strengths. Add it to the list. Yeah. yeah microdosing that... was a thing, but it wasn't like as common as it is now. Okay. So you started. And You're it the, was not because I wanted fathers. to go to those. Yeah. It had nothing to do with being at those events, Pat. You know that. It's because shrimp cocktail looked very good. I didn't care about <laughs> cooked shrimp. I didn't care about hot shrimp, warm. Anything in an actual meal, I just wanted cold shrimp cocktail that I could dip in the old red sauce. sauce. How did it taste? Was it good the first time you had it? Like the first time seeing color? Oh, yeah. I mean, after I finally got there to where I could eat one whole shrimp, it was awesome. <laughs> Still eat it to this day or no? You just have that grilled chicken and uh, plain rice. Right. No, I'll get it. But the only time I get it is if we do, like, we're oh. at a nice restaurant and someone's getting oh. shrimp cocktail. Like, hey, will you eat shrimp cocktail? I said, absolutely. Oh, so you think that's oh, potentially yeah. why I say that? Because the only place the shrimp cocktail is is at one of those uh, events that I laid out exactly. Well, all, mainly because I'm not big into having like seafood in my house. I just feel nobody like it smells is. for days. Yeah, nobody. I've never, I've never walked into somebody's house and there've been shrimp cocktail just sitting there. You know, like never. always an event. Shrimp cocktail always an event or at a restaurant. I don't think people just. That's why I automatically assume that. It had to be so bad at that first big event where your face just... Oh, my God. You had to That's lose. not where it happened. Was it a karate deal, <laughs> you think? Yeah. Oh, no. He yep. was sitting Dojo. at a super nice steak restaurant, and it was a place that was going to teach him the original, you know, <laughs> kick thing that he had on the internet, or maybe that Cyber Max. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever the hell that thing Power was. Power Max. He was, yeah, they were going to close the deal. You know, after his big workout, they're mm -hmm. going to dinner. They were going to close the deal on him owning a percentage of the fucking Power Max. And then he had one shrimp cocktail. Like, this guy, he can't even handle Jesus it. Yeah. The hell this guy's awful. This is the entire deal. Is that what happened? Your whole face? You couldn't breathe? Is that what happened, man? Everything's that is not, I, that's not how I became aware that I was allergic to shellfish, no. How'd you, be, how'd you learn? Did you just have... Because that, that was, kills people, right? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I was somewhere. I was down uh, on um, a spring break, I believe, maybe so, junior year in high school, sophomore year. I don't know. And somebody, we, they're going to oh, try lobster. That seems cool. And I tried it, and then, like, 20 minutes later, people are asking me what's up, and my eyes basically swelled shut and whatever. Oh, like Will Smith. no. And Hitch. Yeah. What a shame. He was really But then, you know what I said, though? I've told you this. I was like, that. it absolutely is not worth the hype. Like, lobster is not worth, like, what everyone says. No, shrimp cocktail, not either. And yeah. I need 57 claws of lobster to get enough meat to get full. You're ha yes, and crab legs, too. You might as well get 4,000 of yeah. them. Mm -hmm. uh, they, it's a fun time, though. It's a fun time. Yeah. Uh, Diggs, it sounds like you would eat shrimp cocktail every single night at the house. Okay, so... That's uh, what I said. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You, got, you were talking about the events and not having a house or whatever. When I was a single guy and I, I would go grocery shopping like once a month or whatever, 
and you walk by like the the freezer aisles sometimes at nice at some places they do have like the four, shrimp cocktail like platter 50. in there and i would just grab that for for dinner or whatever <laughs> that's awesome that is I awesome that is those are delicious. i love shrimp cocktail they the the plastic ones are yes like yeah. if um if we were hosting anything at the house straight to the grocery store give me this plastic oh yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah give me the plastic container that has the dip already yes. in the middle it's always in it it's always a hit. It always, always gets eaten because yeah. it's a celebration. It feels yeah. like shrimp cocktail is a celebration. It is. More yeah. Sundays than not during the football season, I will have a fucking shrimp cocktail <laughs> on for the game. No way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What a sophisticated ma- – you know, I feel like in my eyes, I'm like, God damn, that's next level stuff getting in there. Buffalo chicken dip shows up. There's another oh, celebration. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's far and few between, but because you can just run down to the local supermarket and grab a big platter of shrimp cocktail, absolutely. Can you still do that? Is there a shrimp shortage right now? Or no? You can get it delivered on DoorDash. What do you mean? What? Well, yeah, he gets it from Cheesecake Factory once oh, every four months. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I don't get I don't get shrimp cocktail at the house, but that does, you know, I've been to a few, usually like cookouts or something, they may have a, a tray of shrimp cocktail inside. All right, let's move on. Let's talk sports. Please. Great to see you, AJ. Top five pick. Scouting report. Oh, yeah. 